Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Joining us now is our foraging friend, <laughs> Rachel West. How are you, Rachel? Spectacular. Well, thank this you for being here. The warm weather has been amazing. Yeah, don't it you has, love it? It's right? kind of amazing. Okay, so. Like the Ozarks bring us to the point of death. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, take and off your shoes, have around. some flip-flops. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. So we've had crazy weather. There's, uh, there's a lot out right now. But uh, I wanted to bring pine just because a lot of people probably have it in their yard, no matter what the extreme weather has been. Yeah, this it's true. It's an evergreen, and so it's always hanging around. Um, we've brought pine before. Uh, we, as if I have a mouse in my pocket. But <laughs> um, I have brought pine on here before. <laughs> as, uh, I'm always talking as a company sometimes. That's right. But uh, yeah. pine will have three, two, three, or five uh, needles. This is white pine, so mm -hmm. it has five. Um, to make a pine tea, the easiest thing to do is literally just grab a whole bunch of little needles like this, hold them over whatever vessel that you're going to be uh, mm -hmm. pouring over your boiling water in, and then just dice it up. And hmm. so that's what I did today for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pour you a little bit of tea. Now, while you're uh, doing that, there's got to be some nutritional value or you wouldn't sure. have For <laughs> sure. So pine is extremely high in vitamin C. So I actually steeped in this today mm. by dicing it all up and then just pouring my water over for you guys. If you make pine tea or anything that has a lot of vitamin C, you always want to put a lid on it. Oh, okay. uh, vitamin C is heat soluble, so you want you don't want to evaporate your vitamin C. You want to ah. keep it in your cup. So think about your old cup and saucer. I know. You would put your saucer on the top of your cup, yeah. and then you would transfer it over after you've steeped. So interesting. So, I love how um, we learn did, something new every yeah, time. Can you me. tell me there's like <laughs> way more vitamin C in pine than even like oranges? Didn't you tell me that at some point? Now you're vitamin C has a lot. Oh, you know. You poured too much. I did. Uh, I am. <laughs> Maybe, no. That's we're just okay. Live That's okay. TV, have, this is we what we work with. Hey, it is Sorry. what it is. Uh -huh. It's all good. Um, Thank you. Cami? Yes. I'm going to do better for you. <laughs> 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 okay, right. so pine is extremely high in vitamin C. It's also really good for loosening up phlegm. So I had a little, I had my, my son, he's nine, he had a bunch of congestion this last week from his nose just mm -hmm. running and stuff. And so here, I'll put that inside. No, let me. We'll hide it. There. So this fixed that, huh? It, mm. it completely loosens it up. It's really mildly sweet on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of so, tastes like Christmas. Did you? But if you've got a pine out front or an evergreen, um, pine and spruce are both edible. And again, pine two, three, or five. Okay. Did you sweeten this at all? No. Or is that that's all natural? Mm -hmm. Like I took a drink and I thought that no, she put same. Sugar in it's it. like very um, it's it's comforting in a way. So I can totally say this is like perfect for when you're sick because not. Mm -hmm. Not only is there stuff in there that's gonna make you feel better, but like there's just I don't know there's like this a coziness is just to it. And water I mean? and this. Yeah. I yeah. wish I would have had a clear glass because it is it is almost uh, that light light green tea mm -hmm. color. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's very very soothing. Yeah. Um, you guys. Just get outside even when it's snowing and mm -hmm. get those needles that are just covered. The kids like to eat ice over. And then oh. uh, we turn the tea though into, you can do a simple syrup by doing a two to one sugar mm -hmm. and water. Mm -hmm. That's a great or idea. Or you could fold that into your pancakes and make pine pancakes by mm -hmm. just using the It actually tastes pine tea. way better than it sounds. Yeah, it I does. Know. It tastes amazing. Well, I'm always so impressed by like, the knowledge you have of like how to use all this natural stuff in mm -hmm. cooking because people don't always think about that you know what i'm saying so i love that well in pine even the exterior if you've ever gotten those sticky fingers from playing around yes. a pine tree yeah so that rosin actually uh can pull if you've got a splinter or if you've got any kind of if you get a spider bite that's got an infection mm -hmm. and you want to pull and draw it's used as a drawing salve mm. and so it's nat naturally antimicrobial and antibacterial that's just incredible. just the resin, not not even talking the needles. Or Where can people find you online? So. Eatingtheozarks.com. Eatingtheozarks.com. She always has events. So yeah. Super, super fun. Lots of knowledge in yes. this head. Yes. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank you guys. for being thank here, Rachel. So I really Delicious. love this tea. Okay, we want to go ahead and say a big thank you to everyone on the show. Hi V, the library, everyone with Nix the Tour of Lights, Kennedy, Habitat for Humanity, and Rachel West. Yes, yeah, stay safe, everybody. Ozark Live returns tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Yes. Bye bye. This is still It's so good. Actually